Hello again everyone, this is Ivan from BrainyBits.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use one of these little joystick modules with an Uno. And what we're going to do, I already connected the, uh, the little board here with five uh, wires. So we have five pins on these uh, joysticks, basically. We have a key, which is a digital switch when you press on the joystick itself. You have a Y axis, the X axis, and you got your voltage and your ground. So we're going to go ahead and make the connections right now. We're going to start with the switch, which is a digital pin. And we're going to put that on digital pin 2 on our Uno, right there. Next we have the Y axis, and the Y axis we're going to put at analog 1, A1, right there. Then we have our X axis, so the X axis we're going to put at A0, analog 0, and then we have our voltage, 5 volts, right here, and we have finally our ground right next to it, right there. So let me turn this around here, let me settle it down, and there we go. So we have all our connections done, so we're just going to go now to the computer screen, look at the code and then upload to our UNO and then we'll see uh, the values being modified on the serial monitor. So we'll be right back. Okay, so here we are in the uh, IDE software. This is the code we're going to use. Uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to assign our pin numbers. So we have our switch pin that we connected to uh, digital pin 2. We got our x-axis on pin 0 analog 0 and the Y pin on analog 1. Here we're going to do our setup. So our pin mode for the switch, it's an input. And our digital write, it's going to be a digital write, so it's a digital pin. The SW pin, it's going to be high to uh, set the, uh, the function. And then we have our serial monitor. Here's our, boy, our loop serial print switch. We're going to do a digital read of the switch and uh, carriage return. Then we're going to put X axis and we're going to do an analog read of the X pin right there. Another carriage return. Then we're going to do our Y axis and we're going to read that one. And there it is. And two carriage return and a delay of 500 millisecond between reads. So we'll go ahead now and verify our code. In the meantime, we're plugging in our Uno to make it ready to receive our code once it's verified. And it is verified. So we're going to upload the code now to our UNO and wait for it to finish. And done uploading. Now we're going to click the serial monitor and see the values. There's our serial monitor. We're getting our readings. So now I'm going to press the joystick switch and it should change to a zero, there we go. Now I'm gonna go up on the joystick and the Y axis goes to zero. Then I'm gonna go down, 1023, release, go left on the X axis, gives me a zero, go right, will go to the other extremity. So when it's resting at the middle position, it goes at around 524 and zero and 1024 on both sides. So there we go, that's pretty easy, and I hope that helps you, and uh, easy to uh, integrate into your project. Once again, I'm Ivan, and thank you for watching.